How's it going? I'm Xander Fryer with Shit You Don't Learn in College, and today we're gonna show you three actionable ways to change the way you think forever. Now, we all know that our thoughts dictate our beliefs, they dictate our emotions, they dictate our actions, and therefore, they dictate a lot of the results we get in our life. How much we make, how happy we are, how strong our relationships are, all of these things stem from the thoughts that we think. But we're never taught in school how to think, or why we think the way that we think, or how to adjust the way that we think. And when you don't understand this, you're kind of left dull wondering, wanting for more. So today, I'm gonna show you exactly why you think the way you think, how to start shifting these thoughts so that you can actually have thoughts that serve you in all of your goals. So let's start with this, how you think and why you think the way that you think. Now let me ask you, do you know what percent of your brain is your subconscious mind? 95%, some neuroscientists are actually saying up to 98% of your brain is your subconscious mind. That's right, that means you are only two to 5% of a real person. Only two to 5% of you is the conscious thinking you. The rest is subconscious or unconscious habitual behavior, subconscious actions that we're taking. And so one of the most important things for you to understand is that 95% of your thoughts are habitual. Now, what this really means is that we need to learn how to program our subconscious. Now, think of it this way. If you're at point A and you wanna get to point B, what's the fastest way to get from point A to point B? It's a straight line, right? Straight line from point A to point B. Now, a lot of the times we have goals that we wanna achieve, point B, and we start moving towards those goals and for some reason we get stuck, we get stopped. I can't make it any further, I can't get there. And this is what we refer to as subconscious blocks. We create little barriers or caution tape between point A and point B that prevents us from actually getting there. So rather than being able to go straight from point A to point B, our subconscious has created these roadblocks that prevents us from actually getting there. So how do we create these roadblocks in our life? Well, the subconscious is programmed through two things. The subconscious is programmed, number one, through repetition, Remember when you're growing up as a kid and everybody told you, no, you can't do that, no, you can't do this? Exactly. And number two, emotion. I want you to think about this. Can you remember where you were when you first learned about the 9-11 attacks? Can you remember where you were when you found out about the airplanes hitting the Twin Towers? For most of us, if you're old enough, you can remember that in, in vivid detail because it was so emotional. Now, you weren't thinking about those terrorist attacks before I just brought it up, but as soon as I brought it up, your subconscious brought this image back to you, exactly where you were when you found out about it, how you were feeling, who told you, what was on TV, or, or what you were talking about. You knew in vivid detail exactly what was going on because the subconscious is programmed by number one, repetition, and number two, emotion. So the way that we start to program our subconscious and habitual thoughts, can you guess it? Through repetition and emotion. So let's dig into three ways that you can do that now. So the first tool that you can use to program your subconscious mind is something that you may have heard of. It's called visualization and affirmations, all right? So your mind cannot distinguish between a real event and a vividly imagined one. So the power of your words, the power of the visions and the images that you see can actually start to program your subconscious mind. We hear everybody from Oprah to Tony Robbins talking about the power of visualization. It's a technique that's used with Olympic athletes and NASCAR drivers to help them become more successful. There was even a study done at University of Chicago several years ago where they took three groups of basketball players and they wanted to help them get better at shooting free throws. So the first group shot free throws and then 30 days later they did nothing in between and then they shot free throws again and they had zero improvement. The second group shot a bunch of free throws and then 30 days later, uh, during those 30 days, they actually practiced shooting free throws for one hour a day. And by the end, they improved by 26% after 30 days. Obviously it makes sense. You practice, you're gonna get better. Here's what's interesting. The last group didn't touch a basketball, but they visualized sinking free throws one hour a day for 30 straight days. And they improved 25%, almost as good as the group that actually 
practiced every day. See, the mind cannot distinguish between a real event and a vividly imagined event. And this is one of those tools that you can use to reprogram that 95% of your brain to start to move you into action to the things that you actually want to achieve in life. So number one is visualization and affirmations. Now the second tool that you can use to program your mind and change the way you think is not a very fun one, but it's a really powerful one. It's what I call feeling through emotions. Now, this is scary, but we all need to flush our emotional toilet. Could you imagine you were a five-year-old kid and you fell off your skateboard and you scraped your knee, right? And you're trying to hold back tears, so you're <laughs> for, for like 30 minutes. So you're stuck in this, in this weird circle of not feeling through your emotions. Now, what would actually happen if you just cried as that five-year-old kid, just ah! let it all out. 10 seconds later, that five-year-old kid is happy as a clam, bouncing off the walls, living life inspired, motivated. The truth is, when we try and hold back our negative emotions, our fears, our anger, our resentment, our regret, our sadness, it actually stops up our subconscious mind. Let me tell you what I mean. These thoughts that are in your brain, they become reality. So if that 5% of your brain is thinking, you know, I don't wanna feel sad, so it turns off to feeling sad, where do you think that sadness goes? deep into the subconscious, into that 95% of your brain, and it marinates there. And so you wonder why throughout your day or throughout the rest of your life, you're getting these negative thoughts or these, these sad moments coming up just as like explosions from your subconscious. It's because you're not allowing yourself to feel through them. You turned it off to the 5%, but the 95% is still marinating in this filth. When the reality is, if you just sat there and you cried for a couple of minutes, you would be inspired and motivated the rest of the day. So number two is very backwards for a lot of people, but you actually have to feel through your negative emotions to get to the positive ones. And number three, and probably the fastest way to change the way you think today is pretty simple, but it's not easy. It's taking courageous action. It's taking courageous action. It's doing the shit that scares you even before you're ready. Could you imagine when you were 10 years old and you wanted to jump off the high dive, right? You climb up to the top of the high dive and you get ready and you look down and all these fears come up, all these thoughts that are saying, uh, you know, you, if you jump off, maybe you break your leg and you drown or, or something bad's gonna happen, right? Now you know these fears and these thoughts aren't real, right? But they're going on in your head anyways. So as that 10 year old kid, do you, you know, climb back down off the high dive and go, Dad, I need to go to therapy. Like, can you take me to therapy so I don't have these fears of jumping off the high dive? No, you jump. You look off that edge, you feel the fear and you jump anyways. You take courageous action. You jump off that high dive, you hit the water, you don't die and you get out of the water and how do you feel? Exhilarated, excited and you have instantaneously shifted your belief and the way that you think by taking an action that was the exact opposite of what you felt was the right thing to do. By facing those fears and taking action, you come out the other side and you prove to yourself that your thoughts were wrong. And once you've proved that your thoughts were wrong, your thoughts immediately shift. This is one of the most powerful ways and one of the fastest ways to shift beliefs is to turn reality into the belief that you wanna believe. When you learn how to reprogram your brain and change the way that you think, everything changes. Just five years ago, I was a corporate monkey, stuck in a nine to five, living paycheck to paycheck, unfulfilled. I was an introvert, I was single, I was sad. I was filling the holes in my life with drinks and booze and you know, trying to, trying to do all the things that everybody does to make themselves happier. Today, I've got my dream business, the woman of my dreams. I make multiple millions of dollars. I'm a best-selling author. I have a TEDx, uh, TEDx talk and I speak around the world. All of these things happen because I made a conscious effort to change the way that I think. Now, it doesn't happen overnight, but if you start today, it'll happen. Now, if you like this video, please hit like below to let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you have any specific topics that you want me to cover in the future, go ahead and comment below so I can make sure to hit on those. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any great videos in the future.